In addition to exporting a 3D animation as a video file, you can also export it as a still image sequence. And there are two types of still image sequences that you can work with inside Photoshop. To follow along here, go to Working Files, go to Photoshop Projects, and scroll on down to Render Animation. If you watched the previous lesson, then you know this is just a one second animation. I'll open it up again though. Let's just expand the view a little bit here like so. It's a 10 second clip, but we're just gonna look at one second here under the work area bar. We've got the keyframes here, turn them on, there they are. And we'll see that just a one second little rotation here. Okay, I wanna export this by going File, Export, Render Video. And I can choose Media Encoder or Photoshop Image Sequence. We'll go Media Encoder first, because we're technically making something that's oriented towards video here when we make the first still image sequence. Go down here to DPX. DPX is very high level video. It's just individual frames that can be played back as a sequence in some high level video editing software. Right now the preset is very high. We'll take a smaller preset so it'll take less time to render. So we'll just go basically HD here as opposed to really, really high HD there. Let's go standard HD here, 24 frames per second like that. The work area bar selected here and ray traced draft so we can keep it at a reasonable time limit. The name already selected because it's the default name. It's going inside the My Photoshop Exercise Files folder. I'm going to click Render. It'll take a little bit longer than two minutes to render, a little bit longer than rendering a video, but not much longer. When it's done, we'll come back and take a look at it. All right, let's go take a look at it. I'll minimize this. Go to the My Photoshop Exercise Files folder. And there are all those image files from 0 to 22, which is a little bit fewer than you'd expect, but it will play fine. Now to play these guys, I'm going to open them up inside After Effects, which I've got running in the background here. So to import them, I just double click over here. I click on the first one and it recognizes this as a sequence. So I say that's fine, we'll click Open. It shows up here. I'm going to slow this sequence down. It'll play very quickly. I'll right click on this and I'm going to go Interpret Footage, Main. This is not an After Effects lesson, but I'm going to show you a couple tricks here anyways. I'll take this down to let's say 10 frames per second and we'll loop it, let's say five times, something like that. All right, and I'll make a new comp out of this by just dragging it down there, and there it is in the comp, and that's how it looks. Even though it's just a bunch of still images, it plays back nicely, and I have it looping several times there. Very high-end way to do video here. All right, let's go back to Photoshop. Now I want to export this as a Photoshop sequence. So I go over here to File, Export, Render Video, Change this from Media Encoder to Photoshop Image Sequence. Choose what kind of file you want to work with. I'll work with TIFF, which is kind of a high quality file. You can have the number of digits that precede it. I'm going to take this down to two because we're no more than 30 frames here. With the document size, the frame rate right now is 24 frames per second. We can choose whatever we like here. We've got the work area selected, ray trace draft, but here we can choose alpha channel. So you can not only have transparency with QuickTime MOV files, but you can also have it with image sequences. So I'm going to go here and click Straight Unmatted. That's fine. And you see it's called Render Animation TIFF, and it's being stored inside our My Photoshop Exercise files. And now I'll click Render. We've got one more dialog box here. Typical TIFF dialog box. We'll take the defaults here. Click OK. And now we're off and running. This too will take a little while to do this, but when it's done, we'll hop over and take a look at it. All right, let's go take a look at that. So we'll go open up my Photoshop Exercise Files folder there, and we'll take a look here. We have the TIFF files right there. So let's take a look at these guys inside After Effects as well. I'll import them by double-clicking here, going to the same place, and I'll just do by type here. There's DPX, and there's TIFF. I'll select the first one, and as before, it recognizes this as a sequence right here. So I'll click Open, and it says, oh, we've got some alpha channels here. It's a straight alpha channel, so I'll say OK, sure, and here they come. I'll do the same thing I did before here. I'll go over to the interpret footage main, and we'll slow this one down too to 10 frames per second, something like that. I'll loop this guy five times as well, and we'll get out of that. And now I'll make a comp out of this. Drag it down to there. This one has transparency, so we come up with a transparent background there. And there we go. If I want to put it on some kind of a background, I can do that. I'll just make a quick solid here. New solid. Green is not a good choice. Let's get blue again. There we go. And I'll click OK. We'll put that down below there, and we can see it over that background now. Put the drop shadow there as well. 
So it's good that you can get transparency on an image sequence and on a video file. So there you go. That is how you export a 3D animation from Photoshop to a still image sequence.